Hi, I'm Steve Norbury. I'm Managing Director of Selden Masts in the UK, uh, here in Gosport. We are part of the Selden Group, the world's largest manufacturers of spars. And the factory that we're in today is where all of the Selden dinghy spars are manufactured. So the first factor we need to consider uh, when we're producing dinghy spars is the correct material selection. Aluminium alloys are available in lots of different specifications and different specifications deliver different properties. Dinghy spars need something a little bit harder and a little bit different. So we need to use alloys which are capable of having a very high yield point so that they can be bent a long way in order to flatten the sail and optimise the performance of the dinghy, but then still straighten back again to their original straight position. Benefit from the sailor is that masts will last longer, masts are la less likely to take a permanent set, and in high performance classes, it allows those sailors to push the rigs even harder, bend them even more in order to flatten the sails and be able to hold power higher up the wind range than they could previously have done. We buy aluminium uh, for dinghy spars in two different states. If a uh, mast is going to be untapered, as it would be for a simple dinghy, uh, maybe like a laser or an RS fever, it comes in to us already heat treated and already anodized. However, if we're going to taper it, we need to buy it in what's called mill state. In order to taper a tube, we lay it into a CNC machine and we cut a V section out of the front of the tube. And consistency of the taper is really important for the sailor. So the cut is then re-welded. That is done on a computerized semi-automatic welder and the machine is laser aligned to ensure that when we weld the taper together, we're welding completely straight and so that top mast will bend in the same way side to side. Once we've completed welding, we're then ready to heat treat. So the heat treatment brings the spar up to its full level of hardness. And this is a really important process to get right because if you don't heat treat correctly, you don't maximize the material's properties, which is gonna make that mast last a long time and be able to recover from extreme bending. So the final stage of the process is assembly. This is where we put all the fittings onto the spars. We put a lot of design effort and thought into many of the fittings that we use. Many of the blocks and the cleats are of our own design from our own deck hardware range. And as we all know, reliability of fittings on the racetrack is absolutely critical to sailors.